Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review. This is question 3D. And in this case, we're just looking for the non-permissibles. Okay, non-permissibles come from the denominator, but they also come from the trig functions like tangent, cotangent, which we got right here, cosecant and secant, because they produce their own set of non-permissibles here. So first of all, let's take a look at the denominator. Cosine is the denominator. We're not allowed to let cosine, therefore, go to zero. So cosine of x can't go to zero. Cosine of theta can't go to zero. Okay, I'm, I'm probably should be consistent here and use theta. Now, we have already done this uh, in this particular section. We've already done this with, with almost every question here, uh, uh, a thing related to cosine. So we've already got enough experience to know that what that means is theta cannot be equal to 90 plus n times 180 where n is an element of the integers. Okay, and this is because cosine is related to the x-coordinate, and as you go around the unit circle, okay, the x-coordinate goes to zero here and here, okay, zero comma one, zero comma negative one, the x-coordinate is zero, and if we just go up to 90 here, these, these uh, answers here, these solutions, differ by 180 degrees. So that's, that's the denominator there. Now, additionally though, there's that cotangent. Now cotangent is cos over sine. And so because that produces a, a sine ratio in the denominator, we also have to include this, that the sine of theta cannot be equal to zero. Okay, so let's go back up to our, our unit circle here. And notice that at these two points here, this is one comma zero, negative one comma zero, it's over here that the sine ratio goes to zero because sine is associated with the y coordinates as we go around. So that's gonna be at zero and 180. And so we'll say that theta can't be, now in this case, whoops, sorry, you can't see that. In this case here, it might be easier to write um, just n times 180 where n is an element of the integers. Remember, we use z for the integers, okay? Because in this case here, if we let, if n is an element of the integers, n could be zero, in which case this would be, not, can't be equal to zero. And then it's gonna be any multiple of 180 that we desire, okay? So one times 180, two times 183, and you can see that we just bounce back and forth between those two points. Now, with this being the case here, notice that my restrictions just like the previous question, are here, 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 and here as we go around the, the unit circle. So again, I can summarize that by simply saying theta cannot be equal to multiples of 90 where n is an element of the integers, and that actually covers all of it.